Remember that big uproar in Gross Point Park after large sheds were placed at the Detroit border? Some said it was a blockade, even a symbol of racism designed to keep certain people out. Well, the sheds are gone, but now more than a dozen massive planters have taken their place. And that new project along Kirchival is raising some eyebrows once more. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell with this story. When Gross Point Park put up these farmers' market sheds last year, it caused outrage. Detroit city leaders and Detroiters said it looked like Gross Point Park was trying to keep Detroiters out. It felt like the cities were divided. Now, Gross Point Park has a new plan. These planters that block not the drive, but the view. I think if the city is looking for something to distract the eye of some undesirable buildings back there, I think they're kind of cool. I've never seen them that big, but you know, they got flowers, trees. I think it's a nice background. Michelle Nowacek owns Strands, a hair salon a few doors down from the planters in Gross Point Park. She says she had no objection to the sheds, but believes these are a nice compromise. Detroit City spokesperson John Roach agrees. He says the big issue for the city is making sure that road isn't blocked. Florence Robinson lives in Detroit and often shops in Gross Point Park. She likes the look of the planters. It's a start. It's a start, you know. They can they can take it across Alter Road too. They need beautification on the other side as well. It's something Detroit city leaders and the mayor of Gross Point Park are working on. There is a lot being done on the other side that's uh, still behind closed doors at this time, but will eventually merge into what we're doing. And this actually is what you see today is I'm sure going to be temporary. It will be part of a larger uh, project that will include both cities at that point. In Gross Point Park, Kim Russell, Seven Action News.